Alright there, it's been a little while, hasn't it? But, finally, I'm going to stop being lazy on my YouTube channel and finally get round to the business of finishing the monochrome mapping project at last. I bet some of you have been waiting for this for a little bit. Apologize for that, I've just been lazy and doing other things. So, the other thing I was waiting for was a bug fix update, and thanks to Cat, the wish has been granted. So we are playing the bug fix updated version of the monochrome mapping project, which includes a couple of changes for maps I've played before, but most importantly, it contains a change for the map we're going to play today, which is the finale. This is good and evil, black and white. This is by the mapper called Obsidian. 31 monsters and one secret. But I do believe it's a Icon of Sin style map. I like the design of the uh, level already. The music is Time of Judgment by Yazanuri Shinono. It's the official soundtrack from a game, an RPG on the SNES called Lufia Curse of the Sinistrals. If you're interested in looking it up. I've actually decided to look up the origin for one of these soundtracks for once. So we've got the backpack, we've got the shotgun, we've got the chain gun. There's some very weird looking textures. <laughs> it's kind of like hellish textures, but in black and white. <laughs> got the invert the crosses on the inverted crosses and we got the thing. And it's like, go this way to your doom. As such. So thanks to the Weir Cat for finally patching this ward so I could finish it. Although I could have finished it a bit early because apparently there was a, <coughs> uh, a an, an, an individual bug fix for this level, but I wait for the update just to make sure. Anyway, let's go in here and see what happens. Oh my god! Whoa! Holy shit! Imps in black and white in complete darkness. Wow. They almost look really skeletal. Kind of freaky, actually. Oh my god. 1% health. This is not good. Whew. All that for the chainsaw. Ooh, I didn't go too well. <laughs> I could have gone a lot better. Uh, please don't be... Oh my god. Uh, oh, why? Ah, oh, dang it. Ugh. Well, that was probably going to happen anyway. Due to my low health. Wow, what a really awkward start to the level. Hmm. Huh. To quickly get to the side here and avoid taking as much damage as I can, which means get off me, you stupid imps. Hmm. The platforming is a little awkward. You can get stuck on the little edges there. Hmm. Alright, so let's just not. Ah yes, and another version of ZZ... Well, actually, it's the same as last time, my apologies. And speaking of last time, um, the Ultramarine Kingdom actually wasn't named after Warhammer. Just in case anyone was getting confused. That damn platform, it sticks... it makes you sticky to it. It's kind of awkward for navigating, honestly. It really does throw you off. I kind of want to, like, circumnavigate. It's not too easy. Hmm. I'm liking that. I wonder if he could have rolled that platform. But anyway, yeah, the Ultramarine Kingdom wasn't named after Warhammer at all. It was basically just named after the color. Ultramarine. Well, I assumed it was Warhammer related, because that's the first thing I thought of, I guess. I just thought Ultramarines and Warhammer for some reason. I don't know why. I honestly don't know why I thought that in hindsight. I really don't. I, I've never really played any Warhammer games, so no real excuse for that. Yeah, I'm going to save again because I think we get the gist. Kind of a nice little devious, but not unfair traps. Well, he's very apprehensive here. Ooh, wow. And some nice little... Uh, Oh, whoa, whoa. Oh, boy. <coughs> we got some barons. <laughs> this, is all, this is all just stockpiling the weapons before we even get to the 
whatever's going to come at the end of this, which will presumably be a monster spawner, a kind of sin battle. Some people call it the... Uh, what was the name that was given the other day? I, I can't remember. It was Baphomet. No, it was something else. There was another name given to these, like, kind of sin fights, so I can't remember what it was called now. And I was just told it the other day while I was finishing off uh, Realm of Chaos. What? Revenants? Fuck. No revenants allowed. Dang it. This is kind of an awkward way to stockpile the player. Instead of giving the player an easy stockpile access, <laughs> try to kill them off before they even get there. <laughs> Seems to be the motive for this. Archvile! Oh god, no. Get out of there. Get out of this. Stupid archvile. Oof. Wookoe, he got so distracted trying to resurrect, he didn't even think to attack me. Ooh, boy. I want to ease up a little bit on the monsters game. I mean, actually, we get my prizes. Whoa. Totally a bad time to say. Oh, my God. And now a cyber demon. Obsidian does not want us to have an easy ride. Just getting supplied. He wants us to, like, you want to get supplied? Well, you got to fight through my army of creatures. Oh. Oh, we can just skip that all together. Hmm. All right. Well, I guess that's fine. I don't mind. Save time to fight the Cyber Demon anyway. All right. So, I think that's going to be the final little detour before the end. So, now comes the tricky part. The part that had to be bug patched, hopefully. So... Apparently, it's something to do with, instead of instantly killing the player, it's just 20% damage. Whatever that is, but we'll see. Alright. If I can beat Apocalypse on Realm of Chaos, I can beat Good and Evil Black and White. Uh, I'm, really, I'm really not good at Iconot Sin levels, I've not played many of them. Anyway. Skull. Hello, Skull. Where do we have to shoot to destroy you? Now, knowing this being an icon of sin level, you probably have to target a specific spot or something. I don't know what. Oh god, where the heck am I aiming at this thing? It's gonna be a case of figuring out where that is. I bet you it's a way to this. Ah, I think I figured it out. Okay. Oh, you cunning bastards! Oh shit. Ah, no! Is there any way to get off the floor here? Maybe I can aim for it up there? No. Did those pain elementals spawn in? Did those pain elementals spawn in because of the fact I was up here? Or were they just monster spawn? I don't know. Anyway, I think we should aim for the head. No, this is not proving to be an aiming spot. At least the auto aiming's not making this very easy. No, this is not the spot where it is, but Rocket seems to be the key here. Ah, oh, dang it, not again. I think that floor must be what the weird, what uh, was fixed. I guess it must have killed the player instantly in the previous version or something. Let me see what we got to do. Oh, whoops, and then I was teleflagged. Okay. I don't know what to do here. I'm honestly stumped. There'll be somewhere to aim for. I don't know where it will be. Let's have a nose. We're going to be looking out for a particular sound. Like a drowning sound. I don't have any idea what to aim for this. The, real, the thing is with these icon of sin levels for no one who's ever played one before, basically the idea of the level is to, um, you don't actually kill all the monsters. You're supposed to kill a Romero head, or, well, you're supposed to kill a Romero head, named after the creator of Doom who put his head into the game. And usually it involves firing rockets into an exposed skull. The kicker is to figure out where it is in this case, where I've not a clue where we're aiming for. Hold on. The eyes reacting then. 
Ah, the eyes. The BFG blast showed eyes. I bet it's the eyes. Let's try the eyes. Let's see if we can't get the eyes down. Stupid. Can we get on the way? Let's try the eyes. Oh! The head exposed! Oh, we're out of rockets, though. Oh, no! Dang it. Oh, there's going to be a couple of deaths on this one, but we figured it. It's the eyes. The eyes into the head. Oh, God. This is really kind of tricky. We have to... It seems we have to attack the eyes first and then pump into that. I bet we have to go up now. Come on, go up, 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 go up. Go away, go away, go away! Piss off! Go away, all of you. Let me get that thing in the school. Come on. No, auto aim. Stop it. Oh, my God. The auto aim is... Okay. Go away, please. I'm going to be... Oh, my fucking God! That's it. That's it. I am turning auto aim the fuck off. Oh, my God. The auto aim is what's fucking costing me this damn run. It's the auto way. Shit, it's annoying. It really doesn't work on this level. I probably have to turn it off, maybe. We'll see. Alright. Just get one. Come on. Come on. Yes. Now get that brain destroyed, please. Oh, it almost died. I almost fucking had it. I almost fucking had it. Oh man, that was close. You could hear the groans then of Romero in. And it's cold. Oh, this is so frustrating. I'm going to start BFP blasting. Piss off. Right, go. Pump the health kits. Come on. Come on. Come on. Go, we do. Yes! Take that, you giants. Go ahead. Take it. Yes! Whew. God. I don't like Icon of Sin levels. But that was not too bad. Ooh, boy. That was kind of easy, actually. A very simple idea, but it worked. Oof. I could definitely see how monsters being gibbed onto the floor would damage the player and make that a little harder than it should have been, to be fair. But that wasn't too hard. It was just very difficult due to the auto aim system. But, ugh. I was expecting a lot worse, actually, to be honest, but eh, simple enough once you figure out what to do. Uh, good supply of ammo. Yeah, I like the fight was a giant skull. That was pretty cool. The, the graphics were nice. The textures were good. I like the fact that before you actually got to build up your supply of weapons, you had to do a bit of fighting. That was kind of interesting. Normally, you just supply and then go into the fight. You don't normally fight monsters while you gain your weapon stockpile. That's kind of a neat twist there on the old Icon of Sin thing. And uh, the final room was pretty nice, very simple execution, but eh, maybe it takes a little time to figure out. Gotta shoot the eyes, shoot the head, but simple enough. Well, nicely done. And the music was... I didn't really notice the music this time, I think I was too focused on just trying to beat the level to be honest, but oh no, pretty good stuff. <sighs> Okay, so that's the end of the monochrome mapping project. I don't think there's... I wonder if there'll be a credit sequence at the... Oh, hello. We do get a credit sequence at the end. Awesome. And it's a lost soul this time. Nice. And this is just a generic roll call, I guess. Zombie man, shotgun guy, heavy weapon dude, a the chain gun of a pestilence. Imp. Demon. This is pretty much the generic ending of Doom 2. You get to go for all the monster vocal and kill them all off. Because nothing is more satisfying than killing the enemies of Doom, right? Especially you. Especially you. You can die too. And you triple so. Ah, the spider mastermind. We had a couple of fun encounters with you in this wad. And a couple with you too. And you're out of here. And there's us, the hero. Now he will die for the last time. As the zombie man closes us out. 
So, overall, I kind of like that ending. It was brief. If I'd known it was that brief, I probably would have done this ages ago, but... Given the last two levels, I was expecting an absolute nightmare. Especially since this had to be bug fixed, so... Yeah, good map, good job, Obsidian. It was a nicely detailed map for what it was, and the nice tweak with the uh, supply my fights. So, um, I guess I should round out with a couple of final thoughts on the monochrome mapping project as a whole, really. Um, I'd have to say that overall, the monochrome mapping project was kind of a. Eh, eh. The idea of the monochrome mapping project is pretty good, and I would definitely love to see a sequel done of it. I'd love to see the monochrome mapping project 2 in the future. I'd most definitely hope that they're going to work on that, for sure. It would be nice to see a follow-up done with a bit more technical quality this time around, and an agreed template for the levels. Um, the levels themselves were very varied. There were really some levels in there that were very... Uh, boring or below average, or just not really that impressive. Um, some of Jaws in Spaces levels comes to mind. Uh, two out of three of Membranes, and some of the other levels I probably can't remember now off the top of my head, but there were some levels in there that were kind of meh, and then there were some levels that were really good. They used the monochrome color limitations very nicely, and the levels were designed nicely as well. I'll say one thing, every, no one level felt like the other. Yeah, there were some similarities, but every level felt its own thing, and there was definitely an interesting variety of play styles and tweaks, and I enjoyed some of them. The, the primitive, for me, kind of still stands out as the highlight of the whole mapping project, for me, because it was just an excellent sort of visually interesting level with good music to boot. I think Paint the Town Red actually comes a close second, though. The only reason I wouldn't put Paint the Town Red any higher as one is because it was a hard level. And it was an interesting variety. I mean, right from the word go, this wad has been entertaining to play through, although some of the levels could have used a bit more oomph, a bit more something to them. And certainly having the color styles be changed up a bit was a little bit... Eh, you could sort of tell at one point that people could have went off the script. It would be nice next time to see 23, maybe even a full megawatt of levels. 32 levels in all. Um, in the entire... in the level being sort of um, done with, with a consistent theme and... You know, I think Pistol Starts definitely should be, be maintained for a, a, a possible sequel, most definitely. A possible sequel should keep the Pistol Starts, because they were fun. But I think people need to work on the technical aspects of the levels more, and not just make them all the same, you know. Make them feel different, make them interesting, and stuff like that. But overall, I it was interesting to see the different styles of the mappers um, and such, and I'd say this was about, if I had to rate the monochrome mapping project, I'd probably give it about a 3 out of 3 out of 5. Because there were some really excellent levels like ZD White Crap, The Primitive, um, The Temple of White was kind of visually interesting as well. Um, some of Jaws and Spaces stuff was good too, the brown room and Uptown, even though Uptown was an unintentional sleepy area, I like, I like that idea. But went down by a couple of meh levels, really, to be honest, like the Abstraction Complex and the other one that I did, I'm afraid, sorry membrane, I feel like I'm picking on you a bit, but your levels were the worst. Except for the first one, the first one was good, Coagulation was nice. But overall, um, the Monocle Farming Project was an interesting idea. I think next time they should flesh out the ideas more, have a consistent theme, and make the levels interesting. All of them. I wanna, if I ever play a sequel, I want to see 32 interesting and diverse levels. Because of the way, it's a heck of a lot of potential for this, and having all different people involved adds to that creative element. Want to see more of this? Please make more Monocle Mapping Project stuff. Svar, Punk, and Company. And other than that, I leave the chat with the um, 
What did you think of the monochrome mapping project if you've managed to sit through my final thoughts segment? Which I'll probably, put a bit, I'll probably elaborate a bit more on the thread. What did you think of the monochrome mapping project? What were your highlights? What were your lowlights? Did you think it was great? Average? Bad? What do you think could be improved for next time? And what do you think, um, were my criticisms fair, or what do you, what just with your thoughts? Any thoughts in the comments appreciated on this one? I'd love to hear what other people think of the ward as a whole in the comments and stuff. So, other than that, I'll catch you all next time, because there's a couple of requests that I've been asked to do, and we'll be getting through next. Two Doom requests, and I'll give you more information on them at the time. Other than that, thank you very much for watching the Monochrome Mapping Project playlist, and I'll catch you all next time for more Doom experiences. Farewell, Doomers, and have a good day. Let's beat it! This is turning into a bloodbath! Press Y to quit. Yes.